What's up, guys? Chicago Trader here, checking in with the uh, weekly fundamental video. Uh, hopefully, you guys had a good trading week, as I'm uh, recording this on Friday after the uh, BPTH craziness. Um, with that being said, there was a name that I uh, have been kind of tracking over the last few weeks, and I figured I'd just kind of share my uh, research with you uh, real quickly, and kind of the story and a little bit about what I've found. Pull up this chart here. So it's one of these bad boys that uh, just... Uh, you can see, I mean, adjusted splits, like $10,000 or something. Uh, what initially got me interested was I uh, something came across my news feed about uh, the, the CEO issued a letter. And uh, basically, here it was, was on January 9th. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I kind of got to reading through this and it was right down here. Um, so you can see, basically, it talks about the terms of the company's equity financing through a third party of uh, their Series C redeemable uh, convertible preferred stock, uh, yada, yada, yada. So toward the end, um, he basically talks about with the sharp decline in trading price of the company's common stock during 2017, it resulted in substantial dilution to shareholders, which continues today. So that's where I, you know, kind of initially got interested. I have seen people post about this uh, name before, uh, but I kind of wanted to uh, go in and look at it myself. So, you know, just a uh, you know, couple months later, um, if we scroll to the top, so they go from 40 million shares all the way to 123, which is absolutely uh, insane. And then we go all the way to Q3, which was filed recently. Um, they actually did a reverse split not too long ago. So there's 12 million. So they did a 25 to one reverse split. So um, reverse split adjusted. There's about 300 million shares outstanding. Um, a massive increase. So for me, um, you know, I figured it's probably about done. I got to digging through. Um, so let me just see what I found here. So basically, yeah, this whole uh, stock purchase agreement and the convertible, um, I'll save you the, I'll spare you the time. So the company was in a bunch of trouble with its debt and the old CEO of the time, Richard Azar, um, came through with one of his subsidiary companies, bought some assets, bought some debt, and it's convertible. Um, and you, that's not uncommon, um, for you to see some of these small companies, you know, some of their board members may have another company, um, you know, uh, some of the directors may have, and they kind of come in and try to rescue the company, um, for them. Um, so he buys up, you know, this purchase agreement, um, you know, we scroll on down. It's kind of funny. I'll get into it. I'll just jump to it now. Basically there were some terms, uh, that the CEO's side company and this company here, CEI. Um, they closed the deal and there was some, um, they didn't agree, let's just say on the fees. I think there's like a $1.2 million fee upon closing and they kind of got into some litigation. So the CEO quits, uh, Richard Azar, and he's got all these convertibles to dump. 